Okay. Without any warning. Gives no warning. Stand by. Yes. Nothing. I could be like digging my nose for all Anurag cares. But you yep. just say life. Have you done the video that uh, I told you to on um, the free day thing? Yes. Yeah, that's on editors. Voice. Right? Yes. Yes. Voice with some video. Which is bite also. Yeah. All previous instances. Yes. Super. It's been done. Yeah, but uh, it's not India Pakistan that we are here to talk about. It is uh, India versus Australia, the deciding ODI that will be played at the M A Chidambaram Stadium in Chepok in Chennai. Siddharth's favorite stadium in the whole wide world. <laughs> no way. No, no, that would be Hamilton or something. It uh, it's not CSK. one of um, Dharamshala is one of my most favorites. But because I had unfortunately the misfortune or the fortune because the match turned out to be a classic in 1998. I had seen the Chennai test there as a spectator, but yeah. in that concrete dust bowl. It was 99, I think. 98. India, Australia. Achha, India, Pakistan. Australia, the final test match. The first uh, test. The first test of the 98 yeah. series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there, but the heat. Achha, I thought you were talking about India, Pakistan. 99. No, I didn't have the chance. I couldn't get that privilege. But, well, I at least saw. Whether a learned knowledgeable Chennai crowd gave Pakistan a standing ovation. That's why they, we are luckily having the best crowd in the world and you see… We? Matlab? We? India? India? No, I can't say for the entire India. Yeah, there are a lot of places you've had crowd problems. Uh -huh. Crowd problems, but then we as a country are blessed to have, if you have those crowd problems, you have someone in Chennai that show you the way, how to appreciate sporting talent. Chennai shows the way. Chennai all the shows time. the way. Not all the time. What about Wankade? No, I mean. What about the Delhi crowd, which showed the way in terms no, of I number mean, of people coming for a test match? Didn't Wankhede boo Virat Kohli in an IPL game? Yeah. So, how no, but, then, but then they are fiercely loyal to their franchise. So fair. No, but then yeah, club loyalties and country loyalties are different. No, I believe Sachin also got booed once or something. Yeah. I think in 2006, that one yeah. of 21 against England. Yeah. But that though happens, now. Messi is getting booed by PSG crowd. Correct. So. Yeah. But still, I mean, you best of players get. Ronaldo got booed by United fans. Yeah, but still, happens. you can't uh, <laughs> really boo somebody like a Virat Kohli or a Sachin Tendulkar just because you got a low score. What is this? This which match is this? Anurag? Uh, Delhi. Delhi. <laughs> Delhi match. <laughs> of course, it was. <laughs> of course. Kolkata. Just as you were praising, when I was praising the Delhi ground. No, I actually also, remember seeing this clip. Unfortunately, just as I was praising the Delhi ground. Saying that they actually set a benchmark in terms of people turning up for a test match. By the way, compared to other centers, Delhi got a very, very good crowd. So, yes. that was mm. one positive thing which could have been one. As no sooner had I done it, our friend from Indore couldn't digest yeah. praise for <laughs> Delhi. Anurag has shown me a clip of how fans got into an abusive war of words yes. during the test match, yes. India and Australia. Yeah, yeah. But then that, is, the that worst, happens in Delhi. The worst crowd. But it's actually not bad. Yeah. They're actually being hospitable. <laughs> they say when they, when they abuse a bit, then they actually trust you. Yep. You're friendly to you. Indeed, indeed. But uh, the worst crowd, Kolkata. Hey, yeah, don't say that now. You'll get... I don't mind. You'll I get, have proof. 1969, 1996. Yeah. Ah, so no, various other occasions. Also. Yeah, I mean, I mean 99, 99, 99, 99, Sachin uh, run out. Yeah, uh, and the one lakh reduced start. to a thousand or yeah. even hundred, yeah. I guess. Other, there are various other occasions. Yeah. But I'll tell you, that is, yes, that is a negative side of, of Kolkata crowd. But there's a positive side to it. I am telling you, uh, and uh, not boasting, but I've seen cricket in most big stadiums in mm. our country multiple times. Yeah, because having covered the game. Yeah. Even as a fan, nobody can replicate the energy of Eden Gardens. Yes, that's true. That also, no Chepok, no Vankade, yeah. no Firosha Kotla, no stadium. Yeah. There is there is something, you get goosebumps, you get the crowd when you get wickets or whatever. That energy only Kolkata can give. Yes. But then with the good comes the bad. Because, because they are passionate fans and they will become too passionate. Correct. So the same passion which gives you those goosebumps, is the same passion that leads to such disturbances mm. and you know burning of seats or 
so yeah. on and so forth. Newspapers. And, newspapers. And I think but that I'll tell you, sometimes they do for celebrations. Only, exactly. It's which is like normal. No, no. But that, but once that gets to the chairs and throwing it in the field, then obviously then, that's crossing a line. That get, and yes, uh, remember, even I remember my first instance of watching uh, an India match. I mean, on TV, '93. Every wicket there would be firecrackers burst at the Eden, yeah, yeah. and that showed that they really cared about their cricket. But '90s. About sport. Yeah, because this you'll see even if you're in a derby. Football, exactly. Football, yeah. uh, forget East Bengal, Mohan Bagan. I've seen it in other football matches. Also. Exactly. Go to, Cal- go to a Calcutta football league match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. If yes. it could be a Mohammedan sporting playing yes. any, any club. Down. Exactly. Yes. Any of in these fact, clubs. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, one of the fiercest games I saw was between Mohan Bagan and Mohammedan sporting. Like, fierce. Yeah, because people tend to forget when people always talk about Indian football, you always remember huh, East Bengal, Mohan Bagan. Mohammedan was that third yes. Kolkata giant yes. Yes. who actually. Actually, sadly faded into obscurity. Yeah, but because of financial mismanagement, hmm. which just gradually Correct. went down. But yeah, but they were giants of the Durand Cup eras. Yeah. No, no. At one time, uh, it used to be a three-horse race. Yes. Exactly. Between Correct. Mumbai, East Bengal, and and then emerged the uh, Goan clubs, the Salgaukars, yeah. the Dempo. Dempo. So all of that, Churchill Brothers, yeah. multiple uh, uh, sporting the Goas, uh, which which now is a defunct club again. Huh. Uh, the, yeah. the multiple. Yeah, there were loads. There was JCD Fagwara. So from JCD, North. of course. Yeah. They won the first ever national league NFL. title yeah. in nineteen ninety. That team had uh, Bachung Bhutia, I am Vijayan, oh. Joe Paul mm-hmm. and Cherry, all of them playing for the all same team. Legends. Yeah. And I think even Border Security Force won one edition of the Duran Cup. There was du- yeah, but then uh, be, uh, because uh, originally Duran's origin was with the forces. armed forces, yeah, correct? Armed forces. So even now it's come back, by the way. Yeah, yeah, now it's uh, and correct. It's again, the forces which is helping it, uh, which is uh, organizing. That's why you'll have so the teams playing. Funny, also. so you're talking about. I met the guy who's. Uh, Restarted it, hmm. uh, as in brought the Duran back at the conclave. Hmm. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh. So he said, "I'm the guy. I, I restarted, of course, with the help of the forces. Hmm. So they, you need support, but he's the one who pushed for Duran to come back. Isn't it the second oldest or something? Like it's that? the no. second oldest in the world. That's what world. I'm saying. Yes. Second oldest after only, only the FA Cup. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Coming back to the cricket. Yes. The game is in Chennai. Yep. And. Uh, Local knowledge. Uh, firstly, you kept saying rain. This it's raining everywhere. By the way, huh? it's raining in Delhi and Chai, It's raining in Mumbai. It's raining in the south everywhere. everywhere. Is it, it going to rain in Chennai? See, for the past three to four days, towards the evening at around four five o'clock, there's been rain. But tomorrow, tomorrow they are saying the weather will be fine. The uh, chances of rain have dimmed significantly mm-hmm. because yesterday also CSK's practice session couldn't happen because of the rain. Oh. So that's why they put out a video also on Instagram that rain, 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 rain. When will the rain stay away? Hey, tell me, uh, CSK also has a right to the stadium, Chinnaswamy Stadium. Now Ch- the Ch- uh, Chidambaram. Chidambaram Stadium. Yeah. Sorry. Um, now uh, the Indian and Australian teams are there. They yeah. also would want to. So who gets to practice at what time? The Indian cricket team, and I think Chennai the Australian Super cricket team. Yes, because Australia will practice at twelve thirty onwards, and then India will practice in the night Chen- session. The Chennai team instead of Chidambaram Stadium will go somewhere. May go to Guru Nanak College. Ah, isn't that where the MRF uh, thing happens? Yes. Yes. No, you remember Guru Nanak College for one more reason. In twenty thirteen, Parvez Rasul took seven wickets in that warm up game against Australia. Ah. Right. It happened at the Guru Nanak College ground. So. They could play the or they may take a break for one day and then they'll resume back mm-hmm. tomorrow or day after. So day after they'll resume. So that's about the twenty fourth till thirtieth. You'll anyway be playing full tilt. See again, once day. tomorrow is done, then everyone's focus is going on the IPL. Should be told. Exactly. Our Not focus, just the SK. Our focus is already on the IPL. Exactly. Uh, we have done a few IPL videos. Uh, they are coming your way. Uh, a lot of you had been asking us. So the first set of videos. Are going to be the likely playing eleven of each team. Yeah. So today at about seven thirty p.m., you will get to see our analysis of the defending champions, Gujarat Titans. Titans. That's coming your way at seven thirty on Sports Today. Later at night at nine p.m., you will have Siddharth's favorite team, Silly Point's favorite team. Chennai Super King. Chennai Super King at around nine o'clock tonight. And the boys are well and truly back after five years in their sentinel called Chepok. 
No, oh, look how happy he is. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, it's the first time in four years you're having home and away. I, I'm also really eager to see KKR play in front of the home fans. Mm-hmm. Different motivation. I mean, different really, kind of motivation. Even imagine, even the Arun Jaitley Stadium did not host any kind of matches until this uh, ODI and Test match, the IPL, four years. Neither in Mohali, neither in Dharamshala, Barsapara, Jaipur. Yeah. And also, Bangalore hosted some games, but you don't have that. The Imagine the entire Chinnaswami or Chepok coming together to cheer. And I, I it becomes a carnival at that point. Yeah, so. See, one thing has definitely not changed and that is those abominable yellow stands. That will remain empty in Chepok. There's only sore point. That, uh, the ones which are I topped off. I, J, K stands. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because of some issue that has been there. Now, but uh, tell me one more thing that reminds me. Now that he's back in Chepok, Sri Lankan players? They will, that will but be there are one two of them. Well, there are two of them in the squad. And one will definitely play. Yeah. Patirana and Tikshana. And yeah. Tikshana is a definite starter. Definitely starting. And remember, mm. no, and one more thing, Chennai may have had the best crowd, but in 2018, they did themselves no favours because I think crowd behaviour was appalling. They flung a shoe or a bottle at Faf Duplessis. They let, uh, they let, uh, snakes were let, let off at the venue because oh. of the Kaveri protests. Okay. And remember, that was the reason why 2019 they couldn't play in Chepok. Yeah. Kaveri protest. So you were just saying best crowd now. They need to behave themselves. They have to. I mean, yeah. I, it's abominable. I mean, you have ensured that for some petty things, the hardcore Chennai fan does not get a chance to play MS Dhoni. Does not get to see MS Dhoni play more often. And one of the super fans that he says, Hari, the you know yeah, 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 yeah. He prays that I hope MS's last match, if he ever plays in the IPL, it's not in Chennai. We've actually had this discussion on the show before. We have. Because when I spoke to him, he said... We have short of it also. At that time... Because he said, no, we won't be able to hold our tears back. Exactly. We have These are reels we still have, which are up on our channel. We cannot hold our emotions if MS Dhoni plays his last game in Chennai. Can we find that one? He said, he started the conversation with, I don't want uh, MSD to play his last game in Chennai. Yeah. Can't hold back there, but that's out of your control. By the way, it may not be MS Dhoni's yeah. last season also. Let me just... No, no, I'm, I don't seem like... Right? Yeah, so... Maybe, maybe, maybe not also. Yes. Uh, why you are, you want to know? Watch our CSK video at 9 p.m. coming out. And uh, also analyzing. Nikhil's video that you did with Yeah, MS. you can go and see the sport tales with, uh, exactly. with me. That video that I've done. So that's got more details. Uh, but yeah, just just coming back that, that whole uh, controversy with Sri Lankan players being part of the team. We'll see how that plays out. You'll soon see one trend boycott CSK just ha, before the on. IPL. You'll starts. only be reporting making videos yeah. on yeah. sports today. Because uh, Tikshana trended because of that one reason. Mm. Yeah. And whether in all, in all the home games, whether he will play, I don't know. Well, to be fair, he's your best spinner. He is he your has best spinning spinner. conditions. He will. Cricketing reasons. But say will you he play? play? That question will be answered when you see a video. Yep. At 9 p.m. That tonight. is the thing. Okay, Roy SP, what is he asking? He's saying that happy that Chand is a knight now. Yeah, Unmuk Chand has been drafted into the oh, Los yeah. Angeles. Los Angeles. The LA KR, the LA Knight Rider. Watch that video also. I've done a special this thing. Who are the big players who've uh, come into this new MLC, which will begin from July onwards? So, uh-huh. as if. Where, where, where does that go? Under 19, 2012 final still fresh in the memory. Originally. Ankit Bhavne. Ha, Ankit Bhavne was supposed to be the captain. Someday might be back to IPL as an overseas player. Doubt that because, ironically, ironically, his IPL. IPL career was ended by the Kolkata Knight Riders. 2013, yeah. first match, opening match, De- Delhi versus KKR. KKR defending champions, Bretley Castles, Unmuk Chand, first ball. Yeah. Never been the same since. And six months prior to that, he was the under 19 captain. Exactly. He won it. No, it's okay, Adra, we don't need to see it. Just uh, show us um, yep. the thing. Okay, coming back to the game uh, tomorrow, as Sadat's already pointed out. Uh, no rain and I'm going to trust his uh, weather prediction because believe you me, he had told us a week ago that it's going to rain here in Delhi and CR over the weekend. And it did. And it did. Uh-huh. So if he's using the same app, then his prediction is right. You're not going to get any. Yes, it's been raining in Chennai. No rain for the game. 
tomorrow though many would point out the way the game played out last time even if there is rain you might sneak in 20 <laughs> overs aside no you know the wpl actually made a mistake they should have organized the game on 19th they should have because why did they not keep it on the 19th uh, because india match yeah but then but the india match got over by six no no forget that legends league didn't have a final on a weekend because <laughs> <laughs> now, people people would have actually been liking watching that as a bit of a palate cleanser how okay yes. Yeah. This cricket didn't go well. Yeah, wala chalo, achha yeah. Exactly. Akash Bhardwaj, you want a question on why Shakib is not KKR captain? We'll that be question answering we will that. answer in the KKR video that comes your way tomorrow morning. So yep. that will be answered then. Uh, so one thing, no rain uh, for tomorrow's game. That's that's a good positive. The other one, uh, pitch condition. So we've seen two pitches so far in both the games, whether it was at Wankede and then the uh, next game in Vizag, where it was helping a bit of seam bowling. Uh, Vankade quite a lot. There was a lot of juice in the wicket, and even to an extent, Vizag at least that first hour was not very easy to bat on. Maybe because yeah. of a lot of rain around, and that had that extra bounce. That black soil was really hard. And in fact, I heard certain commentators say reminded them of Waka a bit. The the cracks on the pitch and stuff mm. like that. So the extra bounce. So clearly, two pitches that aided fast bowling. Now you're going to go to uh, Chepok. Uh, conventional wisdom tells you that uh, you will have spin-friendly track, but we'll ask local knowledge. I mean, see, if you have to look at the rain build-up that mm. has been happening in Chennai, you remember a similar thing happened in 2012, India versus Pakistan. Mm. There was moisture early on in the deck and Junaid Khan exploited that and yeah. India were 29 for 5. The Dhoni match. Yes. Yes. Dhoni, Dhoni played a fantastic uh, inning. Yes. He shared, and Ashwin also chipped in with a 50, if I'm yes. not 7th wicket record. But imagine, little bit of moisture, not much of swing and a left armour. Does that ring any bells in Junaid and um, Mitchell, Mitchell Stark? Uh, no, but but I, you know, actually, uh, funnily enough, for a lot of uh, folks with us, they may not know, but you know, it was like the 80s and then maybe even early 90s, Chepak was known to be a real fast track. Mm. It should be one of the quicker tracks that you got in India. Gradually, over the years, it, it got on with the reputation of, of being a spin-friendly track. I think what, what made it even more spin-friendly is when the IPL came along and then the local team yeah. actually wanted a because MS Dhoni relied on, on spinners, exactly. that's the way they played their game. So it became a, a, a spin, slow, low. spin, slow, low track. But you talk about 2012 with a bit of rain around, maybe you have that kind of juice. juice. In, in that case, maybe then the toss becomes as important as the one in Vizag because Vizag is a great pitch to bat on later. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I think India, it was a good toss for Australia to win. India got that tougher condition. Though no, not taking anything away from India, they should have probably applied themselves a bit more that first hour. Because yeah. once you negotiated that, there were a lot of runs on that pitch. Could have come back. But if that's the that's the condition you get in I doubt you'll you'll get that. And remember, even in 2017 also, uh. early on there was a lot of moisture and India were struggling. And I think Kohli got out for a very low score. But it was Hardik Pandya's counter-attack against Adam Zampa that ensured that India got to a good And remember, it was a rain curtailed game. Mm. Yeah. Australia lost it because I think Maxwell lost his mind somewhere. Again. Because he wanted to be aggressive, but he fell at a very bad time. And Again. India won on a DLS adjusted par score at that time. Mm. But the early wicket that was there in 2017 that had moisture. So, if the rain is around, it has been there for two, two to three days. Then you could have some early movement. Early okay. movement. That is the key. And whoever wins the toss, they might get some early wickets in this. It could be a repeat of Wankhede in this series. Could be a repeat of that. As the game wears on, it will become easier. No, Wankhede was tough throughout. throughout. Yeah. yeah, actually Wankhede was not, not yeah. easy. Vizag, yeah. Vizag, could be yeah. Vizag, yeah. Wankhede so. was tough. I mean, when India batting second, wasn't easy to bat on. It, mm -hmm. was, it was some uh, applied approach by both uh, KL and, uh, KL and uh, Jadeja, Jadeja. That, that took you home but maybe but I think that one hour could negotiate and also we don't know uh, because see I agree that both are coastal cities Vizag mm. and Chennai but the temperature varies a lot yeah. the, the breeze in Vizag much cooler mm. than what you get in Chennai if especially summers have set in but I don't know what the when situation does, right now. There's nothing called summer setting in. It's either too ah, hot or just, just too hot. warm. <laughs> there's three, there's three True, weathers in China. But I'm saying yeah. that the kind of moisture you get in the air in the Vizag is far more yeah. than what you get. Plus, I think you'll get a bit more sea breeze which will aid a bit Obviously. of swing because yeah. it is very near to Marina Beach. And, yeah. and there's enough Next spaces between yeah, the stands. And there is a sufficient gap between the stands there. That's why you can get a late evening sea breeze also. Correct.
So <laughs> yeah. that might be one factor that can help swing bowling. Mm. And remember, dew and the heat have not set in in Chennai. That will come in April. The nine days of hell, which we call Agni Nakshatram, it will set in at that time. Mm. Oh. North Appa, like what, what you call up here, North Appa, there it's Agni Nakshatram. 41 degree heat, 96-95% humidity. Right now, uh, nine days you're talking about, today is the start of Navratri. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. so, nine days of good fortune has started. Hopefully that good fortune can translate to some Indian victory because you mustn't forget, it's a very important match for yeah. Indian cricket for multiple reasons. Uh, we, as we spoke in the dugout yesterday, it's, I mean, rarely do you have a situation where India lose at home. The last Correct. decade we showed you, only two series yeah. they've lost and they are on the verge yeah. of losing another one. Though the only thing that gives me hope is two things. One, more often than not, they've been in this situation in the last 10 years where it's gone to a decider and more often than not, India have won it. Yep. So, they're in the same situation, you expect them to win. Secondly, I think the, the, the two pitches that you got earlier are not really conducive. This one, as we're saying, Chennai, may be a true blue Indian pitch also because, yes, maybe the summers have not set in, but don't forget the IPL is coming. Yep. The local team is CSK. They would have want the pitch to be like one and that preparation would have not started today, it would have started a month ago. Correct. Yes. So, so leading up to that, you suddenly can't change the nature of the pitch. So I think this will be a much flatter drag, deck where Toss may not play as crucial a role as it played in Vizag. Yeah. And if that is the case, then India become favourite. Yes, if you compare the two games, if you ask me to compare the two games and if I look at the two games closely, even though it's one all, I'd say Australia favourite because they perform better. But if the conditions completely change, and it becomes a flat batting track as you get in India. Then I think India, despite having looked slightly inferior to Australia in the two matches before this, I think they, they go in as favourites. So they, that is a, a big relief if you're an Indian fan and you think they can win. I think, see, the problem in the Vizag and uh, Mumbai ODIs, if you look at it, the utilisation of the old ball in Mumbai. Australia didn't utilise that. So, there is an advantage for India. If you bat out the initial sessions and you have the depth, you bat yeah. till number 8, you can at least make do with the old ball. You can at least get one or two partnerships after the match. Mm. What did Rohit Sharma say? He said a lot of cliched things, but one thing he said was, we didn't even have one, two partnerships. Which is correct. They which didn't. is the only thing that he said very properly. That's what are the cliches thing that he was talking uh, batting about? Batting unit failed, the bowlers were not under pressure because it was in the 117 wicket. It's, he tried to be calm in his Mumbai way, but it I slipped through. It slipped through, and only the one thing which he said was that not just left armers, even right armers troublers. Yeah, no, but, but I think that was a deflection, yeah. and I don't agree with that. I mean, yeah, yeah he has a point. Which over the 2019, catch. more than Trent Bolt, who troubled you, it was Matt Henry in that 2019 World Cup. No, so but I but I think the only relief is that this I I still feel conditions mm. aren't going to be that tough. Yeah. So uh, Mitchell Stark was like the record in chief both games. This time, I don't think India should be as troubled because the condition might not. Because the same stock gets hammered in India also in T20 cricket when you mm -hmm. get those flat tracks. Yeah. You get a flat track, then the same stock can you, go You've for gotten some numbers, na, Anurag, about stock. Yeah, just can you show us that? What are the numbers? Yeah, so okay, cut ODI's to it full frame. Overall, he's gotten 219 wickets, which is more than two wickets per game. Mm. Mm. At this point in time, an average. This is across all countries. Over, overall, yeah. his overall okay. career. Yeah. In no, India, over, India, not uh, overall India, right? No. No, no, no. It is. Ha, so that that's good. Is an average of twenty-two. I would have liked to have seen the strike rate also. Economy of five in ODI is very good. Yeah. yeah. Go to India. That's against. Uh, ODIs versus India. Ah, so not in India necessarily. A lot no. of them may have been Australia also. Yeah. True. Ah, so he's gotten one for five wicket haul in Australia. So slightly worse than his overall record against India. Slightly, slightly, yeah, slightly, right? Because economy goes up, number of wickets, not two per game, comes down from that. Yes. Yeah, and even so, the average is up here. Yeah, yeah. average is up. So overall, it, it, his record against India isn't that great compared to his overall record. Mm. Yeah, you take. But I would love to see in India. In India, okay. So oh, yeah. there it is. Six matches. 11 wickets, economy of 6, average of 32. Uh, see now, now, this by the way is even slightly worse than overall and versus India. Correct. But this is including the two outstanding spells he's bowled. Yeah. 
and yet it is okay so if you so before this two, just I remove that wickets. remove those two two matches four, four matches he just had taken two wickets in india that is the stat four matches only two wickets why was that the case because those matches must have come on bottom wickets yes so my point is if chennai the whole thing changes if in chennai what you are expecting you get a true blue indian wicket then then stark is not the stark that we've seen and if that's the case then 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 india is certainly favorites again absolutely yeah. it changes the whole equation our whole prediction of australia looking good but that was basis of what we saw yeah. first two matches yeah then nine I mean, wickets in two games as compared to four matches two wickets exactly and, and mind you both catch up and mind you both of those came on very good bowling surfaces yep vizag first innings was a terror let's be fair and mumbai it was tough throughout It so you give him a little bit of help of course he'll do wonders that's true yeah. for everyone right any changes for the indian team no Decider, i think one change uh shardul coming back and i doubt yeah actually in chennai in, if if it if it's a uh, if it's going to be spin friendly you might want to stick to the same uh, but i might one change no Washington. not shardul uh-huh. yeah i might i i still would want to go with washington sundar ahead of akshar patel i know akshar was Though your best batter, your best batter and bowler in the last game. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm saying that that's because your rest of the batting didn't do anything. Was really bad. I, I don't think Washington would have done any worse in batting yeah. or bowling. Just gives you a bit of variety. Yeah. Ah, that I agree with. I would, I would been, I was wanting Washington from the first match. So, yeah. Plus, of course, local lad knows the conditions. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I, I would make that one change as hard as it sounds on a, a Akshar. Akshar Patel. I would make that change. Ah, uh, in terms of. You're going with no change. No change. You're I, I would Washington. want this change. No but Shardul I, for sure. No, not on not this, in Chepo. Not on Chepo. Not in Chepo. If you were playing in a place like Mohali, maybe. Yeah, not so much. Yeah. It's very difficult, I, because Washington Sundar, but you're not given that much of game time also. But to be fair, he barely gets game time half the time because he's injured. Other times because he's in and out. Yeah. So he's used to it he's by now. He's not played since New Zealand, if I'm not mistaken. He played yeah. in New mm-hmm. Zealand. I think he's not played since then. Wasn't that like Ranji and all that he was playing in between? I think Tamil Nadu got knocked out. But well, he, I, if I'm not wrong, he was playing. I remember they were playing Delhi. Oh he yeah, he was there. Yeah. He was playing. He was playing. So it's not like he's unfit. He's been no, playing. No, he is. Yeah, yeah. He is, which he is, is why he came back in the squad. Mm. You yeah, can look at it. But I think India are not making too many changes for a decider. Yeah, because it's a but decider. but what about changes in the batting order? Plenty of uh, opinions on that. Many saying push Jadeja sk- up. No, but, uh, yeah, or, or push Sky up. Well, oh, sky down actually. Sky down. We were thinking. No, but there were there there have been uh, former cricketers that have s- yeah. spoken about pushing sky up ahead of. Uh, oh, one of our family members had said, push Jadeja to four, keep uh, uh, K L Rahul at five, bat Surya either at seven or six, keep Hardik at six. Because then you push can let Surya. Surya seven. My point is, I understand the thinking behind it is that okay, he's a T20 specialist, so last. But I'm saying, if you're trying to get, give him confidence, if you're trying to get him into the scheme of things, then he needs to bat a bit longer. And and is seven then the spot for him, or even six a spot for him? The problem with this sure. suggestion, and I understand it also, is that neither Hardik nor Surya are sevens. At exactly. best, they are six. Yeah, no, that's At what. Best. Oh, no, Hardik played seven earlier. Yeah. Yeah. No, Hardik on day of today though is very much yeah, a six. Here I kept Hardik at six. Four will be Jadeja. Five will be Rahul. Six will be Hardik. Seven will be Surya. Mm. No, that, that's pushing. I think Surya. six is the maximum you can play him. Or you tell Hardik that listen, boss, switch off this mode. Play like how you used to be 2016-17 times. Not happening. But that's not happening. Oh, so Hardik is saying, I want to be play the MS no, Dhoni. No, no, no. Hardik would be saying now, IPL is coming, boss. I have to bat number four. Four, correct. Exactly. <laughs> you are uh, kind of see uh, the advantage you get with Jadeja or Aksar going up the orders. You are breaking the uni-dimension batting that's there. Number one to number six, all are right handers. And you, you by the way, been having the same problem since last year. So. Have you been having this since 2019? You can actually. It's not a bad idea. I mean, uh, uh, you you push Hardik to seven because you can turn on that gear, uh, and then, but then, that's tough actually. Then you get so let's run to the batting yeah. order. Your two openers are Shubman Dan Hewitt and Shubman, Virat. Virat Kohli. You've got Jadeja there. Jadeja at four. I'm not sure you'll push Jadeja at four. I'm saying let's go sky at four for now. Hmm. KL at five. 
Hardik at six and Jadeja, that's the order that they've that's got. The order. I think I think you can't you can't waver from that. Unless you get Jadeja at four and Kale at five. Kale at five. Kale don't uh, stick at five. Surya uh, Hardik at six, Surya at seven. No, uh, Surya at six and Hardik at seven. How about even that would be a massive adjustment to it? Mm. But if I'm Surya Kumar Yadav, I'm I'll be like, okay, two tough pitches. I didn't now. Now the flatter track comes and come I'm being pushed out of the order. And I'm at number six. Maybe this is the time for him to actually you know, dig his four. heels mm. in, spend some time, get a get a good ODI knock, that old school, old fashioned ODI knock going. Because once you get that under yeah. your belt, then then it'll help you going forward. So. Because now this is the last game. After that, in June end only, you're going to play uh, ODI West mm. Indies. Three ODIs you'll be playing. And there also, it's doubtful. You, I think you might see some rotations. You will see. No, most of the star players might not play that series. Mm. They'll go directly to the Asia Cup or if before uh -huh. the Asia Cup, they organize a series. Maybe at that time. After the Asia Cup, you only have one more and that is against Australia. Australia three ODIs. Actually, you are in that catch-22 situation. Whether Who can you try as a backup also? Because see, if Surya plays, unfortunate, God forbid, he doesn't do well in the West Indies. Will you try a back If Ayer is not fit, suppose he goes under the knife, not fit for four to five months. Will you try Sanju Samson in the Asia Cup at number four if it's a potential backup? Too late. No, uh, I, I think if Sanju comes in, he might come in for Ishan Kishan into the squad. Mm. Mm. I, I don't see him getting a game immediately in the 11. Mm. He'll have to wait because I think they'll give Sky a longer run. Seems mm. like that. And then yes, if he, if he has a few more failures after that as well, yeah. then maybe you bring in a Sanju and I don't think that I mean, ideally, you'd want everything settled in advance, but if it's not, then you'd have to make last Yeah, anyway, Rohit did give an it indication happens. in that uh, Vizag uh, post-match press conference. He said that because Sky has had the potential in T20s, mm. yeah. you would want to play him because you want to make him comfortable for seven to eight games. And prior to that, he's only filled in when players have gotten injured. That doesn't make anybody yeah. comfortable. Mm. So, you will persist and probably you will persist with him until the Asia. Look Go down, uh, Anurag, just the bottom. Uh, to, we'll take a few comments as well. Uh, Rajan Tinji, uh, thank you so much. Always sends us love, sending you a lot of love back. Yes. Uh, Tripti Dimri says, KL at 4 and Sky at 5, your opinion? Would work, but KL seems very well settled at 5 now. Why disturb that? But uh, it's not a major change and if it was to happen, I wouldn't be too flustered. With, I mean, it's okay. Not too fussed with it. Happens okay. Especially considering that when Ayer was playing at 4 and there were matches where Ayer and uh, Surya were playing together, Sky was coming in at 5. Because yeah. that's when Rahul was, I think, recovering from yeah. injuries Injury. or whatever. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Mayank Agarwal is here. He has, yeah, he's not part of the squad. He so isn't. He's uh, preparing for life in his new franchise. Yes. SRH. Sunrisers. Sunrisers. Yep. He's got, see those orange dots also at the end. So, <laughs> what is he asking? Do you think that main players will play in West Indies ODI series in July, August? Doubt. Doubt. I don't so why not? If it's a World Cup year, wouldn't you want to have your main team play and then get used to... Actually, yeah, maybe. Team? Do they have a T20 series See, or is they, this ODI? They will be playing two tests. Oh. Three ODIs and three T20s. Then I think you'll rest players in the T20s. Yeah. Because tests, of course, I think that's the start of the new WDC cycle yeah. for India. Yeah, it'll be the start of the new there WDC cycle. And that's an easy W actually, if you think about it. Yeah. West Indies, then they go to South Africa mm. for the next uh, major overseas assignment and then Australia. Mm. Those are your three overseas cycle assignments. What Somya Das Gupta saying? Somya Das Gupta says that I was the person who suggested this guy, uh, you know, do pushing him down, pushing Sky down the order. I actually meant playing at 6, play Rahul at 4, give him another game at 4. If it doesn't work, then push him back. But you know, I'm just saying, how does that one slot anyway make a difference? If Rahul is at 5 or 4... Don't think it makes it, that much of a yeah, difference. Yeah, if, if Sky is at 4 or 5, how does it make a difference? 4 and 6, yes, completely different roles. But I think 4 and 5, marginal. Uh, and, and as I said, if I am thinking like Rohit Sharma and if I want... See, again, depends. Are you are you thinking of wanting a sky or are you thinking of What's rejecting, the best team a, rejecting a sky? Mm. What your mindset is? There are two ways you, you look at a player. Okay, you, are you giving him a chance to finally reject him? Or are you giving him a chance because you really want him to click? So if you're looking at it as someone 
and you really genuinely believe which i think the indian team at least a captain does want him to succeed and be good then i think let him bat it for but if you are saying that listen i i want to look beyond him but i have to justify looking beyond him so let him fail on a couple more games then you push him to number 6 See, mm-hmm. even that mindset is to look at so i'm just trying to see it and by the way you know uh, this has happened in cricket in indian cricket where you have played around with a player's position hmm. not to select him but to reject him so that okay, he failed in multiple positions so yeah it it, it does happen uh, depending on but but all i'm saying is in, in sky's case the positive is that it does seem like that uh, they have want to integrate coach, they him. want yeah. him and if you really want him then i doubt they're going to change him from number 4 for now so as a 4 5 doesn't really make and, and i don't think kl is complaining at 5 right now he's just happy being part of the team it's exactly. working for him so Exactly. Go down and write some more. Okay. What is? Uh, go. Ashish Tripathi says when big teams versus India, Iyer gets injured. But cut him some slack. This I, I mean, don't think he wants to be injured. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you get injured in opportune moment. Bad yeah. luck. Why would he want to miss out uh, on a pitch that was there? in the final test match of the series in ahmedabad hmm where he could have absolutely yeah plundered why runs would, for fun why would he yeah why would he want to miss this odi series where he was fixed to be in 11 why would he want to let go of that opportunity and allow somebody else and if he was, you know he goes on to get a lot of runs then you miss out why would he want to do that why would he want to miss out being captain of an ipl franchise and do well for them i think this is being a bit harsh right yeah we are always too harsh if, if you get injured okay yeah. unfortunate you can look at why it's happening again and again that and that's a cause that for concern be, yeah that can be looked at but i don't think anyone does it on purpose i mean again he's just going to be part of an ipl any player who gets injured just before the ipl best believe there's no chance you should be questioning it's also it. harsh but no very, way no way you're questioning comment. it no way not you're coming back if i cannot say anything about it because injuries happen because of the nature of the sport is such hmm. now people can have conspiracy theories about timing yeah but come on i mean there was somebody like a jacob orum who wanted to say if my fingers getting injured on a consistent way i'll cut my finger off and play but of course he would never do that yeah. but he many people have played through pain but back injuries as such i think you can never play through you can like see, okay, someone yeah. like kohli who was mitigating his back issues if i'm not wrong is managing yeah. yeah but even that you're living with it which is why many people are saying you know, he can play for 6 to 8 years i think it will be very difficult i think he'd have to take some extended uh, breaks yeah. here or there yeah because it's a very bad back injury that's what i've been told and that's why he had to change his diet also his fitness regime also because of the impact with which he plays that's the reason Roy SP Roy SP says that tweaking the entire order might not be the de- best decision if he doesn't fit might as well replace him nothing against our former knight i love how he brings ipl into everything yeah yeah, yeah, yeah agreed no and, and, and we missed one super chat that was there i think uh, adhurag is taking he's taken a screenshot so we'll go back to that yeah but i agree there's no point tweaking the order you just you know let him play give him mm, the yeah. best opportunity to succeed and not fail yep I mean, it doesn't happen after that. Then, then it doesn't happen. Then it doesn't happen. Yeah. Somya Das Gupta is like saying, "What I meant, give Sky another game at four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone wants a player like him to be in the level. True. But keep Samson in the mix, as Ishan is not certain as the second keeper. But we've said that. Completely agree. That's exactly what we've been saying. And Samson's advantage is he can slot anywhere in the batting order, with Ishan only an opener. No, he's batted three, four also, Ishan. But I think it's not really working out. Three, three four for MI. Yeah, it's yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. not really working. But Samson can sort out that number six or that number four conundrum. Yeah, if Ayer is not fit and if uh, Surya yeah, doesn't, yeah, but that conundrum. Then he really sorts it pretty if, easily. Yeah, yeah. So because yeah. he'll slot in at four. Yeah. Then you have everything else is sorted. And yeah. remember, he was your finisher. The designated. Just finisher. take some regular questions. We can skip that, uh, Anurag. Uh, yeah. yeah, go down, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mayank Agarwal wants to know Jayadev Vunadkar or Ashdeep Singh who will play the ODI World Cup. Probably. IPL Ash- is coming. We'll have an answer. We can probably Ashdeep. Uh, It should be, but let's see. There's still six, seven months. Jay- Jayadev is in which team? No, LSG. LSG. Doubt he's getting a game. That should be told. He might. Mohsen. 
No, it, uh, Yash Dayal. Oh, yeah. Yash Dayal is, is the GT. GT. Yeah, my yeah. word. Pratik uh-huh. Mandal says he wants to see Akshar at number four and Shardul instead of Sky, but that's not happening. That's that a, isn't happening. So you're going the England route by the extreme. Uh-huh. Put all the all rounders in. Chalo. And that too, Shardul is not as assured with the bat as most of the England all rounders. Exactly. Yeah, he can do it, but consistency is a big issue. And he's better in T20s, I feel, than he would be in maybe ODIs as, the, as a batter. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Let's take a few more questions before we wrap up, Niche. Yeah. Uh, Akash Bharat wants to know any outside chance of Umran Malik. He's going to be part of the scheme of things. No, but, but in the 11, I doubt. No, not now. Because not the right only now. way, see, you're only playing two fast bowlers for the moment, uh, which are your Shami and Siraj. Siraj. And I don't think Umran is ahead of them anyway. Your third option is Hardik. Uh, the only time, the only way you will play another fast bowler, well, firstly in Chepok, I think spin friendly conditions is something that we agreed on at the start of the video. So, in those conditions, you're, only, you're going with three spinners. So, that one more fast bowler can't come in. Now, in a fast aiding pitch where fast bowlers are going to be uh, getting a lot of help, that's where you get an Umran, but but for that, your balance of the batting goes and that's why Shadul then comes ahead of That's why Shadul is strumping. Yeah? Just three out and out bowler without any batting, uh, unlikely at, at this moment. point. Yeah. At this point, it's yeah, very unlikely. It's very unlikely. Or unless as you keep saying, we drop a full-time spinner and play two spin bowling all-rounders. But you don't have a wicket-taking not, spinner no, then? Not, so not at the moment. You play Kuldeep and Jadeja, then and only then. Otherwise... Yeah. You'll have to let go of uh, no. You'll have to let go of Kuldeep then. And exactly. Then, play. then bring Washington. Just letting go of your. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the Major only way to fit. Only way. Yeah. Only way to fit in. I'm just saying it's mm. not ideal, but I'm saying the only yeah. way to fit. Mm. Uh, Purshot Mek says, "Did you see Ash video and your take on the lack of left-hand bowlers after Zaheer, uh, Zaheer Khan?" So, have you seen the I video? Haven't seen, Please I see haven't it. seen it. Because then Tamil, so only you would be able to understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I will do that. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, and then uh, there's another chat on top, please. Uh, if you can By take Roy that. SP, 114. Uh, agreed with Samson, X K K R E N. In when? place of Kishan. I don't remember this. Oh, maybe he was part of the squad but never got a game. Yeah. But if Ayer returns, hopefully soon, Surya might not find a place. Absolutely. True. Not if Ayer comes, then this entire conundrum is dead. We yeah. would not be discussing about exactly. Shriya at all. That's mm. the thing. Exactly. Exactly. And silly point, CSK and had a very, very good point. Ah, okay. And just come out of that. Come out of the thing? Yeah. This is to inform you all. Hey, Upar, CSK, you silly point. You are... Uh, there we go, there we go. Yeah. This is to inform you all that Chennai Super Kings will win this year's IPL. Whose comment is that? His name is CSK. Silly point, CSK. Ah. Exactly. So stop dreaming about your favorite team. Exactly. I tell these guys, waste of time. What are you doing? Team winning IPL, except RCV fans. Ah. We'll As they have. Team. And I complete As this they comment. Have. Fundamental right to shout ESC. <laughs> so obvious. So obvious. Exactly. Okay, two questions we're going to answer. First, Jaydev Mahato says, What mistake do you find in Virat Kohli's dismissal of the second match played against Australia? Of the two matches, I think. He's meant both. Of the two, two matches. matches that, huh? So, the second match, I think, was a clear cut mistake where he. I mean, that was a ball to be played to, you know, long Straight. on. Straighter, hmm. long on. And he went for his get out of jail yeah, card. To square, you know, square of the pitch. I think that. that was the only mistake. Before that, look, fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. But I understand why he did that. That's his go-to shot. That's the era where he scores a lot of runs. Maybe just that slight, yeah. you know, thing that he needs to I adjust mean, to. There was one, I, I think it was just a parody account or something. He dissected. The ball swung and the reaction time of Kohli was such, even Superman could not have played that. <laughs> it was essentially trying to justify Kohli's this thing shot. Even mm-hmm. okay. The, the ball is supposed to swing, na? It mm. is. This is supposed to come straight. Banana swing, apparently. I actually it wasn't. No, no. A straight ball by Ellis. Just swung in a bit, that's all. Ayush Sharma says Hitman will score a big hundred tomorrow. Good chance. Very good chance. He he, he does have a great record against Australia he and he's due for runs. He should. He should technically. But I think the key player, especially when consider Chennai, I think it'll be Hardik Pandya with the bat. Mm. Yes. He can big have the action bat. He can have that impact because it was his knock against Australia. Three sixes of Zampa. 
changed the entire yeah. match. But that Zampa was very different to this Zampa. So was that Hardik very different from this Zampa? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah. Did. No, I, I'm a big Hardik fan. But yeah, that was a different Hardik. Uh, but Ayush sends love from Himachal after his question. Yep. <laughs> Excuse Himachal. me, but where in Himachal? Yeah, Himachal is a big state. Yeah. I love Himachal. So tell us where in Himachal are you from? Go down. In the way, take RC one final can, question. Yeah. Uh, Pratik Mandal wants uh, Bumra at any cost in the World Cup. So do all of us. Oh, yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed because after recovering from that back surgery, he has to get match ready, recover from all that. Race against time. I'm honestly saying race against time. So Rakshan has a good point. He says, sir, we compared Sky with a guy who had scored fifth at a 50 plus average in test and ODI number one ODI for four years and test centuries in England, Australia and South Africa. What a joke. He's clearly referring to the point that AB de Villiers was compared to Surya mm. Kumar Yadav and he's talking about AB being an all format player and doing exceedingly well. Completely agree with you. But I think just to be fair that comparison wasn't ABD in all formats. I think the comparison was only limited to T20 cricket. And his ability said, to score all over, yeah. hence the 360. Yeah. So, yeah, I need to cut him some slack. Anyway, he didn't make that comparison. It's yeah, folks plus, on the outside who did Yeah, it. plus ABD was a freak of an athlete as far as, yeah. you know, being able to do whatever he could. Yeah. Effortless fielding, his batting across formats. You can't compare everyone, yeah? It's not fair. It's a bad comparison. We would really get, as a bowler, I could see the fear in the opposition when AB was in full flow. Not just, not just, even if he was fielding, I don't know one, I don't know who it was against, where he runs in, falls over, has collected the ball, he's fallen over, he fires at the stumps and his run out. Freaks! Versus Australia 2006, Simon Katich. Ah. It was Katich who tapped Andrew Hall. De Villiers ran to his memory is next level here. Yeah. Sachin Tendulkar. <laughs> he tumbled, he was on the follow through, he did a back. Did you know the dismissals when I was asking Sachin's? Did you know? I knew. Ah, come on. <laughs> no, no, because you asked about Bangalore. I was doing ball ball commentary no, at that but point. One okay, time. all did you know? Yes, I did. I did. Okay, now I'll ask uh, you five thing, other. Five other I'll ask you, then we'll see. The only okay. thing I do I'll ask you now five, you better know. Because uh -huh. if you knew those five, Random ones you then, mean. Then uh -huh. five you should good, know. Good, good. I didn't know the March 17th. Uh, see, now he's now. Yeah. Okay, but dismissals. That dismissals, was a, you. I'll ask you now five. After okay, this fine, question, fine, we'll fine. do the real test. Will you have the same memory as Sachin? The clip went viral. Your clip also, I'll make sure. For <laughs> all the wrong reasons. Viral. Uh, okay, final question. Tripti wants to know, will Kane Mama open Siddharth? Check out the video that we did. Gujarat Titans. We Gujarat Titans video. At 7.30 7 7 25 minutes. Coming mm -hmm. up. The likely 11 for Gujarat Titans. And there's a shocker in that. There is. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, shall we? Yep. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Subscribe. Enjoy your tea, coffee, whatever. Bye-bye.